Hi, I'm Susan Grajek, Vice President for Data Research and Analytics at Educause, where I lead the Educause Center for Applied Research, or ECAR. ECAR is a subscriber-driven research organization. It's the only one dedicated to understanding IT's role in colleges and universities. And unlike many subscription programs, eCar research is available to all staff at each subscribing organization. That extends the research access deep into your college or university. Our 2012 research covered the higher education marketplace for 16 enterprise applications, students' use of mobile technology in Cotter's Education City, IT and community colleges, benchmarking of user satisfaction, analytics, research computing, and our popular annual report on undergraduate students and their use of IT in higher education. This year, eCare subscribers also received shorter research bulletins on topics like gaming, e-portfolios, and cross-institutional collaborations. Plus, we took some deep dives into specific topics that are part of the Educause core data service. But wait, there's more. For the first time, eCAR also provided access to select research from the Center for Higher Education CIO Studies and from Gartner. Now, let's take a look at some of the findings from the 2012 research. We surveyed the higher education marketplace for 16 enterprise applications to see what's out there. We learned that learning or course management systems have the most homogeneous market with 94% of institutions using only one of five solution providers. Where does open source have the strongest foothold? Learning management and content management. Grants management solutions, both for pre-award and for post-award, are the most commonly homegrown tools among the areas we studied. The eCAR study of IT and community colleges found community colleges are leaders in IT for teaching and learning. Community college students tend to be more satisfied than other students with how their instructors use technology. The majority of community college students say they have good or excellent access to online services. Community colleges offer more distance education related support than other types of institutions. And finally, community colleges outpace others in online learning and in learning technology. ECAR also looked at why it's important to measure user satisfaction and how to do it well. We found that institutions are gathering satisfaction in three main ways. Homegrown surveys, external standardized surveys, and external customizable surveys. Homegrown are by far the most common. To help you get started with your own homegrown survey, we assembled a question bank for measuring the quality of various IT services but don't forget to use the results of your studies. Our study also gives some pointers on how to close the measurement loop by developing action plans based on your data. Our study of analytics in higher education found most institutions are just beginning. The biggest benefit areas for analytics efforts are with student outcomes and resource optimization. Least likely to benefit are faculty performance and cost reduction. What are higher ed analytics efforts struggling with? Investment is the big challenge. Institutions are making the most progress with analytics infrastructure and culture change. Our advice, be real rather than ideal. Start with the data and tools you have at hand. If you're going to make initial investments, target the people. Getting leadership on board, helping functional areas define their needs and act on data, and developing analytics talent. The annual study of undergraduate students' use of technology is eCAR's flagship study. We publish the report research hub and send each participating institution a summary of its results. I hope you'll join us at upcoming EDUCAUSE conferences to learn what we uncover this year. And I hope you'll think about having your students participate in this increasingly popular study. We depend on you. 
I'd like to thank all the people and institutions who support ECAR by participating in our surveys, focus groups, and case studies, by writing research bulletins, and by subscribing. You directly affect the quality and amount of research ECAR is able to deliver to our community. We're selecting research topics for 2013. We've already picked two, IT consumerization or BYOD, as well as our annual exploration of undergraduate students' use of IT. But that's only the start. Look for updates on the ECAR website. The ECAR staff and I will be sharing research results at upcoming EDUCAUSE conferences and meetings. I hope we'll get a chance to meet. And I hope you'll subscribe if you don't already. Learn more about ECAR at our website or contact us at ecar at educause.edu.